Okay, so this video we cover few examples of the properties of uh, exponents. So look at page 53. So first of all, we want to talk about um, a, b, and c here. So what's the difference between a 6 square and b negative 6 square, c negative 6 square? I'm very sure the A answer is very obvious. You all get 36. And if you do, then that's the correct answer. But now, what about B and C? B case, the answer must be 36 as well because this, uh, this is going to be negative 6 times negative 6. But C case, you know, negative is outside here, so which means you can rewrite negative 1 times 6 squared. So, negative 1 times 6 times 6, so answer must be negative 36. Okay? Then what about G? G shows that uh, 2 over 5 to the negative 1 power. Throughout all the property, we only cover uh, a to the negative m power equal to 1 over a to the m power, but we don't do this kind of question. However, we can apply the property, this one first. Then you can rewrite this. 2 to the negative 1 over 5 to the negative 1. So, which means you can rewrite that. 1 over 2 over 1 over 5, right? So the last time we talk about complex fraction, then in this case, what do we do? Yes, you multiply common denominator of denominator from numerator and denominator, which is 10. So you multiply 10 both sides, then it's going to be 5 over 2 here. Okay, then look at from here to here. Can you think a little bit easier way to get 2 over 5 to negative 1 power equal to 5 over 2? Yeah, basically, you can make 2 over 5 to negative 1 just flip up and down, basically. Then this is going to be 5 over 2 to the 1 power. So answer become 5 over 2. Similarly, if any question given, so I'm going to make it up because uh, the book doesn't have this kind of question. Oh, actually there is one question. Look at page 54. Then if you look at J, then the question is 2 over 5 to the negative 2 power. Okay, the same thing. So what do you do first? You flip them. Then this is going to be 5 over 2 to the square power. So which means 25 over 4. Okay. Then now, look at the P here. P shows that 8x to the 0 power. Did you find the answer for this problem? If you distribute the power, then this becomes a to the 0, x to the 0. a to the 0 means a divided by a, so equal to 1. x to the 0 means x divided by x, so also equal to 1. Therefore, this becomes 1 times 1 equal to 1, basically. Or anything to the zero power, you can just say one. That should be the answer for that part. Okay, then let's think about a little bit more complicated questions. Uh, number two, maybe A here. Then that's the x fifth time x sixth. This means you can apply the property x 
5 plus 6 become x to the 11 power. That should be the answer for this question. So what about C? So P square Q negative 4 to the third power. You know, this case, you have two different ways to do it. So I'm going to show both ways here. So first of all, you can simplify inside first. Then you can rewrite this. P square over Q4 to the third power. So become P6 over Q12. But one thing you must be careful, you cannot simplify 6 and 12 because of they are belonging to different variables. That's one way to do it. And the other one, just distribute this power to each variable term. Then it is going to be p to the 6, q to the negative 12. And then make any factor which has negative exponent. You just make um, fraction terms here. So p6 times 1 over q12. So p6 over q12. Either way is okay. So just choose which method is more uh, makes sense to you and the easier for you. Okay? Then now, look at page 55. Uh, I'm gonna do number three, B first. So now it become much more complicated, right? So you can do x negative third square, negative three x square to the negative one over x to the negative eight. Okay. So this case, because now we have three different parentheses term here, which is one, two, three. So I'm gonna simplify the numerator just in case first, and then make combine with denom denominator here. Then this is going to be x negative six because we multiply them. And now this case you must distribute like that but one thing be careful you are not multiplying this to sign though it becomes negative 3 to the negative 1 power not the positive 3 some of you may think negative 3 to the, negative 3 to the negative 1 power becomes 3 that's not right because this is the exponent not negative number okay and now multiply x negative 2 over x to the negative 8. Okay, then from here, I'm going to switch around whatever has negative power, then just bring down or bring up. As you see, everything has negative power, so I'm going to switch their location, then this become x to the 8 over x sixth negative three and then x square okay so then it becomes x eight over negative three x eight so now you see x eight and x eight they are same terms so cancel them out then the answer becomes negative 1 over 3. That should be the answer for number 3, letter B. Let's do one more question. D. So, negative 2, A negative 2, B negative 5, C to the negative third over four 
a fifth b negative three c zero square so now you see it's very complicated but well, just follow step by step then you will be fine first of all you are distributing this exponent for every factor okay then this is going to be negative 2 to the negative third i told you before this is the exponent not negative number so you don't simplify a negative and negative here and a negative 2 to the negative third b negative 5 to the negative third and c to the negative 3 over now same thing we do same thing then this is going to be 4 square a fifth square b negative third square c is always 1 so just 1 okay then simplify then is it will be negative to negative third so become so actually I'm gonna moving everything down negative one on numerator and then everything up from negative number denominator so far I can make one over negative two cube a negative two negative third b negative five negative 3 and C negative 3 from the numerator and we just keep the denominator 4 square a fifth square B negative 3 square okay now simplify then this is going to be 1 over negative 8 a 6 B 15 C Oh, this is really positive so c3 and then 16 a 10 b negative 6 so just moving this one top here because it has negative power again so it becomes b 6 over now negative 8 times 16 so negative 128 and then a 6 a 10 that going to be a 16 and b 15 and c third the last one you just simplify this and this because they are same b term so then become 1 over negative 128 a 16 and b to the 9 c to the 13 the reason I subtract from this I mean this number from this because denominator degree is greater than numerators